The pitot-static heat is checked prior to the first flight of the day. Moving the pitot-static heat switches to on applies AC electrical power to the corresponding component heaters, extinguishes the heater off light, and causes the total air temperature indicator to increase. Rotating the pitot-static heat ammeter selector to static ports, pitots, temperature probe auxiliary pitot, and then elevator pitots, indicate the amperage of the selected heaters. Amperage on the left and right amp meters should be approximately equal for all positions. However, the temperature probe auxiliary pitot position will indicate higher amperage on the right amp meter. The pitot static heat switches are moved to off after these comparisons have been made. Should a loss of electrical power to either pilot's pitot tube occur, the heater off light illuminates. Loss of electrical power to another component heaters is not enunciated. Electrical resistance heating is provided for the L1, L2, L4, L5, R1, R2, R4, and R5 windows for anti-icing, anti-fogging, and increased impact resistant. Electrical power to the L1, L2, R1, and R2 windows is governed by a thermal control unit. Power to the L4, L5, R4, and R5 windows is controlled by a thermal switch mounted on each number 5 window. Window heat is controlled by the window heat switches. The respective window heat power on light illuminates when power is applied to that window. When window heat is required, placing the four window heat switches to on applies heat to the associated windows and illuminates the power on lights. The window heat system may be tested using the window heat test switch. If any power on light does not illuminate, Position the test switch to power on test. Selecting the power on test position overrides the thermal control units and directly applies power to the L1, L2, R1, and R2 windows and illuminates all power on lights. A window heat power on test should not be performed when the ambient temperature is below 40 degrees Fahrenheit due to possible window damage. If excessive window heat is sensed, the overheat light illuminates for the respective window and electrical power is removed. Should electrical window heat become inefficient or inoperative, Pulling the captain's or first officer's windshield air control provides conditioned air to defog the L1 or R1 window. The stall warning sensor is provided with electrical anti-ice protection. However, the sensor's electrical heater operates automatically when the aircraft is powered by the engine-driven generators. The water drains are also electrically heated, with no control from the cockpit. Low voltage is provided on the ground, and high voltage is used in flight. 